Hi, my name is Miguel Angel Sanchez. I have to thank all the organizers of the International Mathematica, Mathematics and Statistics Student Research Symposium. And I'm going to talk about last energy symmetric solutions to the generated elliptic series. Um, I will start with a geometric motivation. Let MG a closed Romanian manifold. By closed, uh, we understand a Riemannian manifold that is compact and has empty bulk bar. We say that two metrics, G and G tilde, are conformally equivalent. If exists a smooth positive function, rho, such that G tilde is the product of rho and G. We have the uniformization theorem computed by Klein and Poincaré in, in this year. Every remaining closed surface admits a metric conformally equivalent to G of constant curvature. And we have the Yamabe problem. Those every closed remaining manifold of dimension bigger or equal of three admits a metric conformally equivalent to G of constant scalar curvature. It's a difficult problem. And Yamabe in 1960 gave an affirmative answer to this question, but Schrodinger in 1968 found a mistake on Yamabe's proof. Uh, we have the next theorem by Yamabe, Schrodinger, Oban, and Schoen, and the answer to Yamabe's problem is yes. If G tilde is equal to the product of rho and G, and if we set rho, u, uh, u uh, to a start uh, less two with u a positive small function, the scalar curvat curvatures of the Riemannian manifold satisfy the following equation. It's a partial differential equation. And to solve the problem, yam Yamabe, the, to solve the Yamabe's problem, we have to seek the existence of a positive solution to this equation. Uh, this operation, operator is the Laplace Beltrami, is the divergence of the gradient of a function. We have uh, this constant, and to start is the critical double exponent. Uh, to solve the last equation, it's enough to prove that the Yamabe's invariant is reached in n. And uh, the Yamabe's invariant is invariant under conformal diffeomorphisms. Let MG a closed Riemannian manifold of dimension bigger or equal than three, and gamma a closed to group of isometries. The set gamma x, gamma x is called the gamma orbit of x. And a subset is said to be gamma invariant if contains a, every of their a, or gamma orbits. And a function is called gamma invariant if it's contact, constant in every gamma orbit. We consider the Yamabe type problem. Menos divergence A, a nabla U plus bu equal to c u to star less two and u a function on the sublet space. A, b, and c are three gamma invariant functions and smooth functions. A and c are positive and this operator is perceived. That means that the induced norm is equivalent to the standard norm of the Sobolev space. And this space is the space of gamma invariant functions. There are non-trivial solutions to this equation. And furthermore, there are infinitely changing things solutions. This is a theorem by Monica Klapp and Juan Carlos Fernandez. And says the next, if the operator is coercive and we have the next condition on the 
on the gamma orbits of every element of M, then the problem has at least one positive energy solution and infinitely changing, changing gamma invariant solutions. One of the generalizations of Yamabe's problems is when we consider the Pelaplacian operator. The Pelaplacian is given by this equation and is it the divergence of the norm of the gradient of U, P plus two and the gradient. And we will consider problems of this type. A, B, and C are smooth functions. P uh, it's a uh, an element of this interval, Q of this interval, and P star is the critical solvable exponent. And we have the next difficult on this problem. When Q is equal to P star, we have the lack of compactness, so we can use a standard variational settings. The Sobolev space is a Banach space, but it's not a Hilbert space. And we have to study carefully the notion of weak convergence on Banach spaces. Uh, let's start with this definition. Let MG a Riemannian manifold um, for P bigger or equal to one, we define this space. When M is compact, we have that the smooth functions, it's equal that is, that uh, it's equal to this space. And in this space, we have the following norm. And the Sobolev space is the completion of this space. Using the compactness of M, we obtain the Sobolev and Benic theorem. And the proof can be founded on the book of Heavy Obocon that it's called a nonlinear non analysis on Riemannian manifolds. Uh, let them be a compact Riemannian manifold for every P belong to this interval and Q from this interval, there is a positive constant such that the norm of the function U on LQ, it's less than the product of this contact constant and the norm of the function on the sublevel space. In particular, this inclusion is continuous. We have the relic kondrachev theorem, and this theorem guarantees the compactness for the sublevel embedding when Q is supercritical. And let MG a compact Riemannian manifold of dimension M and P uh, bigger or equal than one and less than M. For every Q in this interval, this embedding is compact. And when we consider the critical exponent, we have the lack of compactness of the sublet embedding. And we recover the compactness of the embedding when we consider sublet spaces with symmetries. We have the next theorem, embedding with symmetries, let them be a compact Riemannian manifold, gamma a subgroup uh, a closed subgroup of isometries and let P uh, bigger than one, uh, less than M. And this number, the minim minimum of the dimensions of the gamma orbit and set this number. So if Q is uh, bigger than one and less than this number, this embedding is continuous. And furthermore, the embedding is compact if this number is less than P Q star. The proof uh, used that we can consider appropriate chart around the orbit. And uh, to consider this appropriate chart, we use the light theorem. Let uh, P a number on this interval and Q a number on this interval. And we consider the following problem. A, B, C are positive uh, 
small function that are gamma invariant. And we say that a function on this space is a weak solution of this problem if for every element of the sublevel space, we have the next equality. We define the functional, this functional. This is a, a functional that is C1 and its purchase derivative is given by the following equation. So the critical points of the functional are the weak solutions of this problem. Also, we say that a Banach space is uniformly convex if the unit sphere cannot include any line segment. Uh, as examples, as uh, uniformly convex spaces, we have uh, Hilbert spaces and the Sobolev spaces. If A uh, is an uniformly convex an X space and Xn a sequence such that Xn uh, converts weakly to X to X and we have this condi condition on the norm, then the sequence converts to X strongly in norm. Uh, using the uniformity or uniformity convexity of the sublevel space we prove the following theorem. Existence of last energy solutions of this problem. Let mg a closed Riemannian manifold. Gamma a closest group of isometries such that this number is bigger or equal than one. Then this problem has a weak solution, gamma invariant, not trivial, that doesn't change of sync. And um, on the proof of this theorem, we use that this embedding is compact and the principle of symmetric criticality. And we have the work in progress. Let mg a closed Riemannian manifold P on this interval, gamma a closed subgroup of isometries, such that for every x in M, we have this condition on the on the gamma orbit of X. The dimension of the gamma orbit, it's bigger or equal to one and less than M. And let A, B, and C, three positive uh, small functions that are gamma invariant. So this problem has an infinity of changing solutions and there are gamma invariant. And that's all. Uh, thank you for everything.